bit early to be out on the lash. Oh, I wish. No, I'm still helping the new locum find his feet. No, Mum and I have just come in to tell you we've cooked up a plan for your birthday tomorrow. What kind of plan? We're going to throw you a party. We need to celebrate how far you've come since you had your stroke. It's a great excuse for a get-together, and I can invite Faye. I would love for you both to meet her. Two bedrooms and a garden. All right, well, I'd have my daughter staying with me, so that sounds good. Anyway, come on, today's all about you, and we've got a party to organise. Actually, wrong. I've been thinking, can it just be the four of us, like a film and a takeaway? <sighs> Marlon, there are so many people that want to wish you well. Please, Rona, for me, tell them the party's off. Shame about Marlon's party. Glad if he wants to have his birthday at home. Mom, he's only doing it so he doesn't have to see Paddy. Honestly, those two. Have you thought about talking to Paddy? Trust me, there is no point getting involved. They're like an old married couple sometimes. Hey, less of the old. Thank you very much. Never too late to enjoy yourself, believe me. Yeah. Does this have anything to do with the new woman in your life, by any chance? That would be telling, but yes. <laughs> Mom, I'm pleased for you. I really am. Such a pity you won't be meeting her today. Another time, maybe. No, I do still want to. I mean, I'm not going to subject her to Marlon's mood, but I can call in at the pub for a drink. Sure. Well, if this is important to you, then it's important to me, so... Right, I better go. I um, need to tell people that this party's off. Hey, you're all set for the big do. <laughs> We're having these up in ages. I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, Mandy, um, there's been a slight change of plan. It's none of my business, but, um, if you've got other things on your mind... Oh, no, 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 uh, sorry. It, it's complicated. And um, none of my business. At least that's what I'll get told if I stick my oar in. <laughs> do you do that a lot? No, oh, it has been known. <laughs> anyway, I want Rona in a good mood when she meets you today. That is my priority. Just don't want to disappoint. How could you? Mum's been really nervous about this. I mean, no pressure, but she must really like you. Yeah, she told me her story. I just feel lucky that she chose to let me into her life. Can't be easy. We had our moments over the years, but I am really proud of her. Then I am yours to interrogate. <laughs> what do you want to know? Um, Favourite colour? Uh, last relationship? Most amazing place that I've travelled to? Oh, don't get us started on Ecuador. She'll never stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I'd love to hear all about it. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Well, now, that's a turn up for the book. I was kind of hoping this might happen. Um, <clears throat> you two friends again, then? Yeah, um, looks that way. We thought <laughs> maybe a few birthday drinks after all. Does that mean the party's back on? Oh, Marlon, this is Mum's friend, Faye. Oh! So, you do exist. I, I, I was beginning to think that Mary was making you up. <laughs> And if she had, would I be this gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> I think you two are really going to get on. Drink. Well, Paddy's in the chair. I'm really pleased for you.